on everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and yes, I am here to do a trailer review for The Fate of the Furious. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that title, to be honest. I think it's a very stupid title. I mean, after watching this trailer, it makes sense why it's called The Fate of the Furious. Trust me, it makes perfect sense after watching this trailer. But uh, I just wish it could come up with a better title. And also, if they're going to call this The Fate of the Furious, why not add in a number as like a little pun? The Fate, you know, with the number 8 to create fate. In the Fate of the Furious trailer, we open up with, you know, the usual uh, cars crashing and just racing through the streets. And then you see this big boulder hitting other cars in the background, which was very crazy in my opinion. But then the other crazier thing is when we hear this little monologue, she's saying how the one that we're facing is you. And then that's when you see the shot of Dom hitting Hobbs and Hobbs flips over. So now Dom is apparently evil? What? He, he turned against his own crew and I'll get more into that later on but in this trailer yes you see him now with Charlize Theron and you see Dwayne The Rock Johnson going to jail and he interacts with um, you know, Jason Statham from Furious 7 over here. Funny, I do have the Furious 7 poster there right next to me. But, yeah, you actually see him there, and then it turns into this whole thing where now Jason Statham, Deckard Shaw, is now going to be joining up with the team. Also, what? And there is this very freaking amazing sequence that was so freaking cool once that happened i literally went oh yes oh yes i am pumped that made me pumped and of course what caused that big explosion was the submarine okay now there's submer that now there's a submarine again what um yeah this trailer was quite something and i actually did get to watch the whole facebook live event by the way i actually did get to watch the casting crew you know they did all these interviews leading up to the debut trailer for uh, the Fate of the Furious, so I actually really enjoyed that, just seeing the cast and their interviews. The whole Facebook Live event which is very entertaining to me. I really enjoyed watching that, definitely. I had a lot to really think about after watching this trailer because, look, I was very excited, you guys. Um, some of you that know me personally knew that I was hyped for this trailer. I couldn't wait to see this trailer. I've been waiting all day long waiting for this trailer, and I was hyped for it. And then after watching the trailer, you know, the action looks cool. I really like the action. But the one thing that gave me that I don't know feeling is the whole Dom aspect. I just find it so out of nowhere that Dom is now turning against his family. That really is something that did actually really turn me off. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know they, why, did this, why they decided to go in this direction, but... I wasn't really a fan of the whole Dom thing, and I still am not really, to be honest, um, but I actually got to think about it. Well, it's mainly because I actually did get to chat with one of my friends on Facebook Message. We had a whole conversation about this trailer, and, um, you know, there's definitely all kinds of possibilities, um, and he and I discussed this together, and after really thinking about it, here's how I could see possibly happening um, for why Dom is now on Charlie's Theron side, why he pretty much in this case went to the dark side. Okay, either mind control, yes, it sounds cliched, but I mean... It could either be Dom is under mind control of Charlize Theron. I could see blackmail be the number one thing uh, about this whole thing. So I'm going to say blackmail might be the reason why Dom is like this. And after thinking about these theories, I guess you could say, these speculations, which I normally don't do for a film, but... You know, I had to really sit back after seeing that whole twist in the trailer, you could say. I had to really just settle 
And I'm gonna say I'm probably not as worried now. I'm still not a fan of the whole Dom turns his back from his family. I'm still not a fan of that idea. But I think I'm not as worried because you know, if they definitely use the whole blackmail thing, then I could definitely see why that could be the reason. So, I'm going to say I was excited, then I saw a trailer, my excitement went down to interested, because I still really like the action and all that. But then after uh, making these speculations along with my friend, um, I'm actually back on the hype train for uh, The Fate of the Furious. I'm actually very, very excited. Even if I'm not a fan of the whole Dom idea, I'm not as worried about it as I was after watching the trailer and after just really thinking about it afterwards. It looks really ridiculous. The action looks so over the top. The music choice was pretty good with the trailer. There's a lot of really great cinematography in the film. I will say that last shot of the trailer after they show the title, yeah, I didn't think that was needed. That was like, okay, that was unnecessary. That was what, but yeah, I'm really excited for the fate of the Furious still. This is Definitely still, despite maybe how I feel about the idea, it is one of my most anticipated movies of 2017. I hope this could be at least a fun, uh, very great uh, uh, time at the theaters. Good or great in this case, you know. It could either be fantastic like Fast Five, or it could be a good fun movie like Furious 7. Either way, I'll be happy with it, but I definitely have huge expectations for the fate of the furious i can't wait i've just been impressed with these movies ever since fast five which is still my favorite installment in the fast and furious franchise so that's my trailer review for the fate of the furious you guys comment down below and let me know what you think about the fate of the furious did the trailer blow you away did it interest you were you not exactly crazy about the trailer and what do you think about the whole dom turning back his family idea do you think it could work do you think it could not work this is 20 to tiger dude here and don't forget that i will always have tiger power